In 1888, Matilda Jocelyn Gage said she was born with a hatred of oppression. Born into anti-slavery household in Cicero, New York in 1826, she was an abolitionist, suffragist, writer, and Native American rights activist. Her first speech in Syracuse in 1852 announced her as an intellectual powerhouse of the women's rights movement. Gage served as president of both the New York and National Women's Suffrage Associations and published a National Citizen and Ballot Box to help publicize women's rights efforts. In 1873, Gage defended Susan B. Anthony, who had been arrested for trying to vote. Gage was more radical than most other suffragists and founded her own organization, the Women's National Liberal Union. Her most famous book, Woman, Church, and State, criticized how religion promoted women's inferiority. She also wrote Women as Inventor to give women investors the credit they were due. Gage died in 1898. Her legacy is a reminder that there is a word sweeter than mother, home, or heaven. That word is liberty.